call today at 854-6262. That's 854-6262. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! All right, eight minutes after 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Friday morning. We have a lot of facilities in our community that uh, serve people in uh, different facilities like, uh, well, I kind of said that wrong, didn't I? Like, you know, like nursing homes and assisted living facilities. That's what I wanted to get at. And about 20 years ago, I was actually an activities director at an assisted living facility. And so my job was to make sure that there were activities all day long, all over the facility, and it was a pretty big place, right? So there was one thing I did every single morning. Every single morning, I had this exercise class that I <laughs> that I so, sort of had help from a, a cassette, okay? Because <laughs> on the cassette, there was this guy who was saying, okay, now stretch your arms and do this and that. And you know, the exercises were designed to be done while sitting in a chair. Okay. Now, I did that, and now, 20 years later, I'm sitting here talking to you on the radio, and I'm telling you, if you are an activities director, get rid of that cassette (laughs) and get this book called Chair Yoga because I think this will actually serve your residents better. The cassette was okay, you know, but this is better. Um, Kristen McGee is the author of the book called Chair Yoga. Strit, uh, sit, stretch, and strengthen your way to a healthier, a happier, healthier you in just minutes a day. Um, she's on the phone. She's, gosh, she's got a lot of credentials. She's a contributor to CNN Headline News, Good Morning America, Fox's Good Day New York. She's a contributing editor for Health Magazine. Good morning, Kristen. Thank you for being on the air with us today. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Where are you right now? I am in New York City. So I I know New York, but I couldn't tell you how many assisted living facilities are in New York. There must be a lot of them, right? Plenty of assisted living. There's actually one right up the block from me on 71st Street. I live on 70th Street. Is that right? And they hold a chair chair yoga class every Thursday for the senior citizens. Yeah, and I think this is better than what we were doing because you've got things that stretch behind your back. Um, and, yeah. and the chair makes it perfect for that that population. Now that's not to say for I don't. That demographic. If, if thank you, and if you're younger, you could use this too. I'm not saying this is not perfect for a younger person. I mean, obviously you're not old. I'm looking at your picture. You look good, by the way. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so, so, she does look so, great. So, good morning. Okay, but, but but I can. <laughs> you're but, so sweet. But if I say anything to this listening audience, if you have an activities department, you got to put this to to work for you, right? Now, why 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 yoga? Why not exercise? What is the difference between exercise and yoga? Well, yoga is a, more of a whole system, and it's uh, great for stress relief. In addition to aiding in flexibility, strength, mood boosting, sleep, um, bone density. But the, the main thing about yoga is, I think, really the flexibility for the older demographic because you notice how many people start to slouch and get that hump back as they age. Right. And a, a lot of older people are dealing with stenosis of the spine or they're starting to lose mobility in their joints. They have bone issues, bone density issues, osteoporosis. And yoga is an, a low-impact activity that you can do using your own body weight and using your breath to connect your mind and your body. So it's also very therapeutic for other mental um, illnesses or dementia or things that start to happen as you age. And it's really a great way to get your mind and your body connected and feel good about yourself and feel capable as you age. I uh, like the fact that it is low impact because so many people think that everything has to be high energy and then they're going to dismiss it and not do any kind of uh, workout at all. That's true, Linda. I agree. And I think that actually as you get older and a lot of the baby boomers are starting to realize, you know, that whole no pain, no gain Mm -hmm. um, mantra isn't very beneficial to the body. And what's key is sneaking in movement throughout the day, finding flexibility, getting core strength to help support your spine and your posture, and then really tapping into your breath. So, So many of us now really aren't aware of our breathing and we're diminishing our breath because we're sitting in compromising positions all day long. And I think yoga is really incredible because it it really taps you into your breath and into your life force. And that helps give you a whole new positive energy as well and outlook on life. 
So I want to tell you a little bit about our demographic. I've already kind of let you know that we have a, a large retirement population here, but we also have the University of Florida, and so we have a, <laughs> oh, so, we have, so we have a lot of very, very, you know, it's people in their late teens, in twenties, early twenties, yep. that that are tuned in also. And so this, I mean, this would be perfect for everybody. Would you, for the younger people, would you, uh, would you incorporate it's so great for the millennials? Would you, would you incorporate this, though, with, uh, let's say, because I know a lot of them do the 5Ks and the marathons and things like that, the half marathons. Mm -hmm. Would this work well with that? Can you, can you do both? It's perfect cross-training. It's ideal because what happens, a lot of these young millennials will really kick it hard. They'll go out, they'll do a high-intensity workout, or they'll you know, do their 5K run in the morning, and then they'll sit at their desk the rest of the day. And the problem with that is, Every, all your bodily functions start to kind of shut down if you're just sitting for periods of time. We've done studies that sitting is more or less than you smoking, and it's not good for your heart, it's not good for your lungs, it's not good for your internal organs. And it's those, those young millennials now who are really killing it at the gym or on their runs are the ones who are going to have injuries and issues later on in life if they're not careful about stretching and keeping their joints and muscles and ligaments flexible and mobile now. So I think it's actually really great for that younger crowd. And the uh, uh, sessions that you do in the book, I mean, you say that people can do that at their desk at work. They can do it while they're waiting for their doctor's appointment. And uh, that mm -hmm. is, is a, a marvelous thing, too. Mm -hmm. I was actually, I have newborn twin boys. And one of my poor little sons got a fever. And I had to sit in the hospital with him for it was like 36 hours that we were in the hospital because you have to do all these tests and they won't let you go. And I started practicing what I preach. I said, I'm stuck in this little hotel room. I can sit in the chair. I can stretch my shoulders. I can work my abs. I can do some hip openers. And it really helped with the stress I was having around the whole situation as well. So I think when people are on a frustrating morning commute on a bus or on a train or having to fly places yeah, or at an yeah, airport, yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, I, in a way, I wish I was an activities director right now because I would definitely use this one. Stick your tongue out, open your eyes wide, gaze upward, and roar as loud as you can. Oh my gosh! Oh Isn't wow, that, awesome? that you, would be fun. Can you imagine a room full of sixty ladies and, <laughs> and, and, and one crazy man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and they're all roaring like a lion. Oh my gosh! That'd be so cool. You know what? It would be fun. Isn't that so that fun? would be a lot of fun. Yeah. It, it would be fun. And oh wow, wow! People will come and join in. All right. So the, my mm -hmm. recommendation is get this for your facility, and then and then apply it. Get it for you for your dorm or whatever. If you're if you're an activities director, and it doesn't matter what age group. I have a copy right here, so one of you can have it for free. Just call me, and I'll, I'll leave it for you. It's called Chair Yoga. Kristen McGee oh, great. is the author. The rest of us have to go by. Kristen, before you say goodbye, give us a website. Is it your name? It is my name, and it's spelled K-R-I-S-T-I-N-M-C-G-E-E.com. Okay. And you don't need stretchy pants for this. But they help. No. Don't tell them, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> They're fine. Stretchy pants are fine. Good morning. You want the book? Yes, uh, thank I love you it. so much. All right, thank you. And and who's this? What's your first name? Winnell. Winnell, you've got the book. You just have to come pick it up, okay? I'll be glad to. Thank you. Thank, bye bye. Thank you, Kristen. You still there? Oh yay! Okay. Congrats, Winnell. Yes. That went quick. Yeah. Well, th thank you, Kristen. And the rest of you, if you go to my website, there's a free chair yoga video. So you were talking about the old school cassette you used to use. Yeah. If someone is an activities director and they buy the book. There's also a video they can watch that's like a 20-minute actual chair yoga flow. Oh, my gosh. That's very helpful. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for squeezing free. that in. Thank you, Kristen. Okay. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. We will be right back. Leprechaun Soft Wash is the roof washing method that is safe and effective on shingles, tile, metal and shake roofs, vinyl, wood, aluminum, hardy board and stucco siding, driveways, pavers, and the list goes on. Leprechaun Soft Wash is fully insured and uses biodegradable cleaning products. Plus, Leprechaun Soft Wash offers a spot-free warranty on roof cleaning.